New tonight at 10, parents in Marshfield are speaking out as tensions remain high. Thanks for joining us. I'm Katherine Halverson. And I'm Brad Hansen. This in light of more fights at Marshfield High School, where law enforcement has now gotten involved. News 9's Isaac Dinison talked with some of those concerned parents and got the district's response. Last week, we reported how Marshfield School District has been seeing a rise in fights lately at the high school. Earlier this week, one student has been arrested for starting another fight, and parents aren't happy. Marshfield police once again having to intervene with a fight at the high school, this time on Wednesday. A police report saying two 17-year-olds were involved in a fight. One needed to get stitches as a result, and the other taken into custody. Before then, News 9 spoke with a small group of parents who requested to remain anonymous, voicing their concerns. I think we're all, of us are very frustrated. My concern is like when I personally would reach out to um, the school district themselves, just kind of turned their back and didn't listen to anything. District Superintendent Ryan Christensen declined a formal interview, but did provide News 9 with multiple statements sent out to parents in the last week. They cover the measures that have been taken, but parents saying they should have been notified sooner. How many others could have been prevented? How many other parents were left out of the loop when their children were involved in conflict? These parents say they're also concerned about how injuries from these fights are treated. Their main concern seems to be who's posting on social media rather than following up and making sure they have a policy that will address if an altercation occurs that these children should receive care. The high school's altercation policy says students are supposed to receive appropriate care from school resources. As for the student arrested, charges have been recommended to the Wood County District Attorney's Office of Substantial Battery. We don't yet know if they'll move forward with those charges or if the student would be facing them as a juvenile or an adult. In Marshfield, Isaac Dinison, News 9 WAOW.